Hey everyone, this is Jordan Davidson of the USI World Explorers here. Today we're packing our backpacks and taking a day trip to the city of Cologne. Consisting of a population of over 10 million people, this metropolis is the fourth largest city in Germany. Most people know Cologne by its world-renowned Gothic-style cathedral and recognize its name as being synonymous with fragrance and perfume. On this episode, we'll take a closer look at the city and find out a little bit more about its history. As we exit the train station, we'll begin with this massive structure looming before us, the Cologne Cathedral. The Cologne Cathedral is one of the most impressive and largest cathedrals that I have ever seen. Its construction was a lengthy one, beginning in the year 1248 and not being fully finished until the year 1880. But this period of 632 years was not in vain, as the two west towers of the cathedral were for a short time the tallest structures in the world. It was built to these grand proportions partly to personify God's kingdom on earth, but also to accommodate for the large number of people visiting the site. The reason for the large pilgrimage? A golden gilded casket known as the Shrine of the Three Kings. This casket is believed to house the relics of the three wise men, the magi who came to see the newly born Jesus in biblical times. Even today, the Cologne Cathedral is visited by many who simply wish to view this shrine and be in its presence. Cologne is not only famous for its religious association, but is also known for being the birthplace of the original, I'm probably going to mess up this pronunciation, Eau de Cologne. It's the reason that we use the blanket term Cologne for many different fragrances today. From the time that the company debuted its original fragrance in 1709, the population at large just couldn't get enough. So much so that at one time, the company claimed that they delivered their product to all of the royal houses in Europe. Today, some Eau de Cologne fragrances are still around, making them among the oldest still-produced fragrances in the world. After touring the city a bit, the perfect place to go and relax is the shore of the Rhine River. Historically, this river was one of the largest trade routes in Europe and thus lent itself to the growth of the city. These days, when walking towards the river, you're likely to see many places to grab a bite to eat, and perhaps even some local bands performing. The Hohenzollern Bridge spans the width of the river and leads into the city of Cologne, over 1,200 trains a day use this bridge, making it one of the most heavily used railway bridges in Germany. It's also a popular spot for couples to hang a love block and announce their love to the world. And that is an extremely brief tour of the highlights of the city of Cologne. Even though we didn't have a lot of time to explore, I think we made the best of it. It's like Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the purpose of life is to live it, to taste experience to the utmost, to reach out eagerly and without fear for newer and richer experience. I hope that by watching this video today, we have encouraged each and every one of you to make the most of the time you have. You never know when one day you might be faced with a limit and regret things left undone. Thanks for watching.